It just looks like a super high-waisted pair of trousers that like never ends. I feel like a snake shedding my skin. To be honest, looking at these, I would not be surprised if this was one of like Travis's tattoos that he's got on his actual body. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we have a super exciting video. In this one, we're gonna be trying out the new Boohoo X Kourtney Kardashian collab. I actually saw some of you guys tagging me on the Boohoo Instagram accounts saying, can you please review this? And to be honest, I was already one step ahead of you guys. I already had it purchased. As you guys know, on this channel, whenever a celebrity comes out with any kind of like clothing collab, I always have to review it. So today is no different here is my bags of goodies in total I spent 247 pounds on 12 pieces which I feel like isn't that bad anyways if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below but if you guys want to see what this Courtney X Boohoo collab is like then without further ado let's get into the video all right so cracking on into my massive Boohoo bags I honestly don't know where I'm gonna begin in total I think I have about six outfits to go through so let's crack on into the first one. The first outfit I'm going to show you guys I think is the most iconic outfit of the whole collection and that is the pink jogger set. So this is actually an outfit that Courtney was actually pictured in. She wasn't pictured in every single outfit but I just really really love the color of this. When I added this to my basket I was really surprised because it was very affordable. First of all the actual body is only five pounds which is kind of crazy to me. This is what it looks like. It's basically a turtleneck kind of body. Nothing Nothing too complicated but then it is completely backless on the back I feel like it's just such a gorgeous color and it's just a bodysuit that I don't own in my wardrobe I've never really seen a bodysuit with like an open back either and then to go with the bodysuit we have these amazing pink joggers which I want you guys to guess how much these were comment right now these babies were only 10 pounds which genuinely I cannot believe because they are such nice quality they're made of like a really thick cozy fabric I as you guys can see the waistband is really nice and stretchy it's got the cinching and strings and then the actual joggers are very much relaxed they don't even have a cuff at the bottom they're just like straight legged all the way down which I feel like definitely adds a cool vibe to them and makes them look a little bit more dressy rather than slouchy so this whole outfit only cost 15 pounds which is kind of crazy I guess let's try it on and see how it fits okay so here's the first outfit and what it looks like on I have to say Courtney, you really did it this time. This is such a cute outfit. First of all, I'm obsessed with the color. It's like the perfect pink. This is like the perfect balance of dressy and slouchy because the trousers are so comfortable and I would literally wear them all around the house. Whereas the top half is very much more dressy. I didn't even realize, but it's actually got thumb holes. And also, of course, it's got the backless bag, which I feel like looks so elegant. I love the fact that the joggers have pockets. They're very, very like slouchy and comfortable. Also, they do run quite long. This is definitely one of those pairs of joggers that if you're gonna wear them out You want to wear them with like a slightly higher heel But yeah, all in all I'm obsessed with this whole outfit and the fact that it only cost 15 pounds is crazy These joggers are fleece lined, so they're gonna be perfect for the winter months I cannot wait to get use out of these I'm literally giving this whole outfit a 10 out of 10. She absolutely killed it with this one Okay, moving on to the next item. We have this one right here, which as you guys can see is absolutely stunning It's a low bag satin bodycon dress and it's giving me all the skims vibes are you guys seeing that as well I don't know why but it just reminds me of something that Kim would wear so here it is oh it feels quite nice I really hope it's not gonna be like really see-through and sheer but this is what it looks like it's just a very simple kind of like triangle neckline it's very much scooped on the back as you guys can see and then the straps are really dainty they are adjustable I got mine in a size extra small because I really wanted it to be snatched and not loose fitting so hopefully it's gonna be nice and fitted this dress was 25 pounds which I feel like is a pretty good price for a full like maxi dress and then to go over the dress I did also want to pick up one of their like maxi kind of coats so I thought the trench one would be the best to kind of fit with the dress once again this coat was really affordable for a full-size coat all the way down to the ground this was only 25 pounds I have to say it definitely looks like it was more expensive than it was so we have the boohoo by Kourtney Kardashian logo 
on the inside. It's also got a little tag. I got this in a size eight because I wanted to be able to wear like jumpers underneath it and not be too tight. But yeah, it's basically just like your typical Mac kind of trench coat. I really, really love the color and it does have shoulder pads inside. Now the really cool thing about this coat as well as another few items in this collab is that you can wear them in different ways. So you guys may notice that right here, it has a separate layer that you can unbutton and get rid of the bottom of the coat, which will then give you like a cropped kind of trench coat at the top, which I feel like is such a cool idea. So I guess let's try these two items on and see how they look. Okay guys, so here is the dress and what it looks like on. I have to say, I'm a little bit gutted about the sizing. For me, this dress is perfect, but it's just a little bit too tight around the hips. I feel like I have like no movement here at all and it's a little bit looser around the waist and the belly area. Also, as you guys can see, the dress is not very forgiving in terms of like any shapes underneath. I have some underwear on which are not seamless. They do have like a little bit of a ridge and they are ribbed and to be honest, you can see the outline. The color of them is nude, so I don't think you can actually see through the dress as such, but I mean, you can definitely see that I'm wearing non-seamless underwear. This is what it looks like from the back. I am just obsessed with the back. It's so sophisticated looking. I did adjust the straps ever so slightly and now the dress fits my bust perfectly. But yeah, I'm just a little bit gutted about the dress being so tight in the hips and then quite loose in the waist. Apart from that, the dress is stunning. It goes all the way down to the floor. I feel like this would make such an amazing like bachelorette party kind of dress. It is just absolutely stunning. So perhaps I might just have to maybe like get it tailored or get a size up so that it fits my hips and then get it kind of like cinched in in the waist. But for 25 pounds, it is a really stunning dress and the quality is pretty good. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Now let's also try the trench coat over the top. To be honest, now that I see the dress, I don't think this trench coat is really gonna go with it. Okay, so here is the trench coat all on. Honestly, I don't know if I suit a trench coat. I always love the look of them on other people, but when it comes to me actually wearing it and like pulling it off, I just don't know if I can. But regardless, Regardless, this is what it looks like. It's quite like wide looking from what I can see in the viewfinder. As for the quality, it feels really nice on. The sleeve length is perfect. It just feels really, really nice. If I was to wear this, I would probably wear it open like this. I do actually really want to try it out without the bottom part of the coat and see what it looks like when it's cropped. I feel like this is such an interesting design. Like I've never seen a coat that does this before. Also, just to let you guys know, it does feel like the buttons are actually stitched on properly and it's not just gonna fall off after one use. Okay, that is the bottom part of the coat all unclipped. And this is what my little cropped trench coat looks like. This is what it looks like in the front as well as the back. Like I said, I probably wouldn't wear it with this, but I just think it's such a cool idea. I'm gonna give this jacket a 10 out of 10. I love how unique this design is. Okay, now moving on to the next outfit. We are gonna be putting together two pieces that aren't necessarily like styled together on the website, but I personally think they would look cool together. First up, we have the seamless cat suit. This was only 18 pounds, and the second I saw it, I just knew I had to get it. I I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe, so I am really, really interested to see how many ways I could style something like this. Oh, I had no idea this was made of like a ribbed fabric. That's interesting. Okay, so this is it. It looks very strange, actually. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it just looks like a super high-waisted pair of trousers that like never ends and it goes all the way up to your armpits. The straps are adjustable. They feel pretty, you know, nice and comfortable. The actual catsuit literally has like no shape. So I'm hoping once I put it on, that's gonna change. Now I thought I would style it with one of the blazers from the collection and I felt like the pinstripe black one was really a staple in the collection for Courtney. She is pictured wearing it in one of the photos on the website and I just feel like it's very her. She's going through like her grungy phase, which I am all here for. It's not really my kind of style. I don't think I would ever wear a pinstripe blazer like this. I mean, maybe, but I feel like it's very true to her and true to her style right now. So yeah, this is the blazer. I have to say, I am very, very happy with the quality of this collab. Like judging this compared to the Megan Fox one that I tested out a couple of months back, I feel like this is much better.
Canada. And also it's pretty fairly priced compared to the Megan Fox one. I feel like that one was so expensive. So yeah, it's just a little black blazer. It's quite long, so it's gonna cover me up whilst wearing this strange cat suit. I guess let's try these on together and see what kind of outfit they make. All right, guys, so first things first, here's the cat suit. And oh my God, I am just in love with it. I was so worried that it wouldn't have any shape whatsoever, but now that I have it on, it's literally snatching me in in all the right places. And once again, it's literally giving me such Skims vibes, even down from like the fabric and the way that everything is so body adhering. It's really, really good quality. Like I said, this is made out of that ribbed fabric, which is really nice and stretchy and it is just so comfortable. I literally feel like this would be such a perfect outfit for like doing chores around the house. I love how dainty the straps are. They're very stretchy, so they don't actually need to be adjustable. I do feel like the chest area is being kind of pulled down because of how like short the bodysuit is. Perhaps I haven't done the best job at like stretching into it and like pulling it up in all the right places, but I don't know, from what I can feel, it is like pulling down on my chest. But apart from that, it is so nice and so comfortable and I feel like with the blazer, it's gonna be a whole outfit. So here we have the blazer, let's pop it on. I feel like this with a nice black pair of heels, this would make such a cute going out kind of outfit. Okay, the blazer is actually really, really nice. The sleeves are the perfect length and everything about it feels really good. Does it have real pockets? No, it doesn't. Oh, come on, Courtney. You could have done a real pocket. I know you could have. Sometimes these pockets are actually just sewn shut and if you open them, they do actually have a pocket inside. That's what I've heard anyway. So yeah, this is my outfit all together. I actually like how long the blazer is. It covers up my butt and it goes really well with this cat suit. So I'm giving this whole outfit a 10 out of 10. Now, speaking of true to Courtney style kind of outfits, I feel like this has Courtney written all over it right now. I have to say, I am really, really happy that Courtney has really kind of changed her style around. I feel like she was always the least spoken about sister and I actually really like her because I feel like she's more normal than the others. So whatever stylist she has now is definitely doing an amazing job. I feel like Travis Barker might also be a bit of an influence to her too, especially when it comes to this outfit. It's literally giving me like tattoos all over. It's a sheer pair of leggings and it has like this really cool print all over it. To be honest, looking at these, I would not be surprised if this was one of like Travis's tattoos that he's got on his actual body. It does also come with a matching top, which you do have to buy separately, but this is what it looks like. It's got skulls all over it. It is very rock and roll. So with this, the top was 10 pounds and then the leggings were 15. So these are a little bit more sheer, so I am gonna have to wear something underneath it, but I'm hoping it's gonna look okay. Okay, so here is the grungy tattoo kind of two piece. I have to say, I'm not 100% convinced on this one. First things first, I actually don't mind the pattern or anything, but personally, I just don't know if I'd be comfortable wearing something like this out. If you're into this like grungy kind of style, I would 100% go for it because I do think it's a really cool piece. However, the top, especially the neckline, feels a little bit strange. It feels very tight around my neck right here. I didn't realize that it was gonna be like a very straight neck kind of neckline. I thought it was more like scooped, but nonetheless, Nonetheless, it's just a little bit uncomfortable and it does feel a little bit tight around my chest. Now, both of these two pieces are quite see-through, so I just paired it with like this neutral kind of bandeau underneath and some little cycling shorts. But I feel like because of the color and how busy the pattern is, you can't actually see that I'm wearing anything underneath. The leggings are actually a really cool shape. They're like flared at the bottom, as you guys can see, and they are quite long. Perhaps I could make one or the other work, probably not the two together, because I feel like it's a very full-on outfit. Personally, I don't don't think that this is really my style and that I would ever wear it out, but I really wanted to try it out because I feel like it is very much Courtney's style. So yeah, I'm a little bit unsure about this one, but let me know what you guys think. Now, previously I mentioned that Courtney really wanted a couple of pieces in this collection that could be worn in different ways. You can unbutton certain parts and almost have like a whole new outfit. And this one is another one of those items. This is the ribbed maxi dress. Here is a photo of what it looks like. I absolutely love it. I think it looks really unique and definitely my style. However, I was really drawn to it because when you swipe across the photos, these are all the different ways you could actually wear this piece. You can change the neckline by just unbuttoning a couple of buttons. You can actually separate the dress into a two piece. You can take the sleeves off and make it short. You can take the bottom off and make it a bodycon, like short mini dress. I just love the versatility of this item. And considering it was only 25 pounds, I feel like you get so many different items out of it. I have to say, I've never seen a piece of clothing 
like this, especially from like a fast fashion brand. Courtney was saying that she wanted this to be as sustainable as possible whilst working with a fast fashion brand. Here is the extract of what she said, but she was basically saying how she wanted to be like the initial conversation starter. And I feel like with things like this, Although it feels counterproductive to be working with a fast fashion brand whilst trying to reach sustainability, I still feel like this is better than just like a piece of clothing that you're just gonna wear once and maybe throw away. She did get some backlash about that comment and I feel like people are just not buying the whole like sustainable thing. But I mean, I feel like I see what they're trying to go for and is definitely heading in the correct direction. So this is what the dress looks like itself. As you can see, it's basically made up of buttons all over. It's kind of giving me like a pattern work kind of vibe. If there was a modern day Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, I feel like maybe she'd wear something like this. But yeah, this is really interesting. I feel like it's such a cool piece of clothing. So let's try it on and see all the different ways we can style this. All right guys, so here is the dress on with all the pieces attached. I thought I would show you guys how this looked on without detaching anything at first. And this is it. I actually really, really love it. It's a very cozy dress. It feels very comfortable on. And and I do suspect if you were to wear this out in the middle of winter, you probably would get a few breeze holes. But apart from that, it's a really nice fitted dress. So the base is perfect. So firstly, I kind of want to see what it looks like once you sort of open it up and make it a little bit like this. Okay, that looks kind of cool. What should we do next? Should we take off the sleeves or should we keep them on? I kind of want to see what this is going to look like as a two piece. Okay, so that's what it looks like as a two piece. That is pretty interesting. It's actually still very nicely fitted around the waist. I guess let's try and take the sleeve off next. I really want to see what it will look like as a short sleeve dress. Okay. Short sleeve, long sleeve, which one do we prefer? I just feel like this is such an amazing idea for a dress. I feel like more clothing should be made like this. Perhaps not with like buttons where you can see the holes, but maybe with like zippers. I think that would be so cool. It's pretty easy to take these sleeves off. Actually, there's only two buttons that hold them up. So that's what we have so far. I feel like it's now time to detach the bottom and make it a mini dress. I feel like a snake shedding my skin. Oh my goodness. That that is the bottom off and this is what it looks like as a bit of a co-ord. I mean, obviously we can attach it back on to make it a dress. Oh my God, look at this. If you attach it with just the middle button, it kind of gives you that like cutout kind of effect. I'm literally obsessed with the versatility of this dress. I feel like it's so clever. So I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. And now the best outfit till last. I feel like this might be my favorite like outfit from the whole collab. And that is this really cool faux leather set. So first up we have the faux leather little crop top with kind of like that that corset sort of vibe. It does have a zipper on the back and I just really hope that this is actually gonna fit properly because sometimes when I get tops like this, they're just not executed in the best way. So I guess we'll see how we get on with this one. I did also get the matching trousers which look like this. They're very much made of like a thin faux leather so they're not gonna be too hot. They do actually have real pockets on the front as well as the back which I definitely really appreciate. And lastly we have the faux leather white blazer. I think that this whole set came in two colors, white as well as black. Of course I went for the white because I feel like I just get way more use out of it and the quality of this feels really, really nice. Once again, it does have shoulder pads on the inside and yeah, the quality is just so nice. I'm obsessed with this blazer. I guess let's try this last outfit on and hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Okay, but how cute is this freaking outfit? I'm actually obsessed. Everything feels so nice and quality. It fits very well and I'm in the black blazer probably could have done with a little bit of a steam. I love the fact that the blazer actually has real pockets. Obviously that would have been a deal breaker otherwise. The blazer is really structured thanks to the pads. And then this is what the outfit looks like underneath the blazer. So the top underneath, I was concerned that it wasn't gonna fit, but it actually fits like a glove. Also the tapered part of the top sits pretty nicely over the pair of trousers. And this is what they look like on. Like I said, these have real pockets all around and they are very like flared at the bottom. So yeah, this whole outfit is a winner. Congrats, Courtney. You did it again. All right, guys. So that is everything for today's video of me trying out all the Courtney x Boohoo new collab. I had so much fun doing this video and testing these out as always. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, please let me know in the comments what you guys think of this collab. Do you like it? Is it your style? And also let me know what 
what outfit of these was your favorite? I feel like my favorite was the ribbed dress that you can wear in loads of different ways. I just feel like it's such an innovative design. By the way, if you guys see any other like collabs with celebrities on fashion that you might want me to review, definitely tag me in them because sometimes I do miss them. Anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.